Listen, what I've been able to do is dominate sales industries. I've been able to create a nine-figure company. You are going to learn to go to the next level. I want you to take notes. I want you to write something down. Guys, I want you to be looking for your breakthrough. Are they in your mindset? Are they in your hunger? Are they in your competitive nature? Are they in your skills? I don't care who you are, there's another level in you. Today, I'm gonna show you another level of sales. Today, I promise at the end of this call, you're gonna learn some tactics that are gonna help you become a better salesperson. My first day in the car business, I had to get off of a bus and go out there to the business. Everybody made fun of me because I was getting off the bus. I wore the same two pairs of clothes for the first two months that I did it. And then I learned, I got the right information. So I want you to start learning. We're gonna jump into this. What changed my life was the right information. So I want you to write that down, the right information. When I was in the first two months of this business, you know, I was learning from guys that weren't that good. But then I got a mentor. And when I got that mentor, I bought speed. I want you to write it down, buying speed. The framework that I'm gonna show you today is gonna show you how to control your life. It's gonna show you how to control your sales career. And you're going to have to have this kind of energy. You're going to have to have this kind of hunger. I'm hoping that I'm gonna reach into your heart and extract another version out of you. Let's get into it. There's no way you can't make 100 grand in every industry. You should really be aiming for four or 500 grand, okay? You should be really aiming for bigger things, but let's start with 400 grand so you guys can track what I'm saying. Number one, the foundation of all sales success. It's mastering communication. Number one in mastering communication is we gotta control the conversation. What does your hands look like? Are they outside of your pocket? Your energy communicates before you do. So if I'm walking up to somebody, I can tell if they're having a good day. I can tell if they're having a bad day. I can tell everything about them just by the way that they're walking. So what's your posture look like? Are you ready to go? Are you thinking about all the things that you have going wrong in your life? Are you thinking about, man, your kids had this, you had this, you missed this? Stop it. Listen, pros, we grow up, we show up, we deliver every time. You gotta control the conversations. Now, my energy is a little high. This is your rule for energy. You wanna come up maybe a, a level or two above them. You don't wanna come in too strong. You don't wanna come in too crazy. You gotta learn how to communicate with your eyes. What do your eyes look like? What does your face look like? What does your smile look like? Does it look like a diaper? Don't let it look poopy, guys. You should look alive. You should look excited, okay? Now, when you're controlling a conversation, also, you gotta lead these people. You gotta lead them. So how does one lead another through a conversation? They gotta appear as expert. You gotta know your business better than everybody else. You gotta know everything about your business so you can control and lead the conversation. You gotta build trust instantly. How do you build trust instantly? Your energy, your frequency, your hands, your eye contact. Influence decisions with your words. Let me tell you a little bit about what sales is. A sales is transfer of energy. It's transfer of emotion. Write that down. If I'm not that good at it, that's okay. That's the first step to learning. The first step to learning, looking in the mirror and just seeing. Hey, it's the Macklin Twins. Thanks for watching the video. Listen, if you want our free word track guide, 52 word tracks will teach you how to dominate sales, just text 480-780-2203. It'll teach you how to dominate. Let's get back to the video. Text us. Let's go. Number two, objection handling. You got to be able to turn a no into a yes every time. A master communicator, write this down, makes it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and makes it the customer's idea every single time, okay? I want you to be able to handle objections, but I also want you to prevent objections. Relationships kill objections. Salespeople that aren't good at building relationships, they can never kill objections because there's no trust present. There's no rapport present. But a lot of you right now, you're just getting smacked in the face every day by a objections because you don't know your top five objections. Now listen, I'm not going to say it robotically. I'm not going to say, oh, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'm like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the facts and figures. That way you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? That's the best price objection. I'm not going to say that, but since I can internalize it, write this down, internalize it, memorize it, and customize the objection, when I go to say the objection, I can tailor it to them and I know what to say. But you gotta have a word track, you gotta have that in your mind, so that way when you go to deliver it, it makes sense to them. And honestly guys, if you can deliver confidence to the customer and take the pressure out of the deal, you make a customer for life. And our goal is not to be sleazy salespeople that are just after the daily commission, we're after the friend. Because the friend is where the fortune is at. The friend is where we make a friend for life and they send us referrals and we make a good relationship with them and we get to know them and we grow, man. Creating a brand is the most important thing you can do. If you're a leader on this call, that's how you attract employees. When they think about sales, they gotta think about you. They gotta think about you 
you, man. They, you gotta be blasting it out. Guys, if you don't have a brand or you don't have content, you are behind and you need to elevate fast. Creating a brand is the most important thing you can do. If you're a leader on this call, that's how you attract employees. Most of you are here right now because I've attracted you to the Zoom. I didn't go out and put an ad to get to the Zoom. I didn't have to. You got attracted to the brand or something because I'm branding and marketing and reaching millions of people. Our brand reached almost 200 million people as the LA Group last month, on 28 days of last month. How? Social media. Man, we're generating more business than anybody on the planet that does what we do, and it's all through social media. You gotta get good at this. Part of social media, engage with your audience daily. Use platforms to build relationships. Convert followers into customers. All of that is gonna work if you stay consistent. Branding is consistency. Also, write this down. Branding is your reputation in the marketplace. So when these customers are with you, if you're not giving them a next level experience and then you're posting them on social media, it ain't gonna work, man. I mean, it will, but you really gotta live this true excellence of treating your customers so good that they're fans of yours. Because check this out, if I did that likes to leads one and that customer calls uh, Johnny and he's like, hey, it's Mark. Hey man, uh, your, your salesperson messaged me just thanking me for commenting on that post. Man, that's crazy. That guy's got a lot of energy. He seems like a lot of fun. I was thinking about buying a truck. What do you think about him? He's like, do it, man. That guy's the best. I love Ian, man. I want to buy anything from that guy. If you do that, you're going to create something. And if you do it every time, these little, these little experiences, one customer, two customer, three customer, four customer, every customer goes on social media and you're doing this, my God, what you will create is a business that's insane. I wanna be a guy that goes out there and creates the biggest business. I wanna create an impact. I wanna be the guy for my family that's the bloodline baker, that's the game changer. I wanna be that guy. If that's not you, then I don't want you to move to this next one. I'm so thankful that I invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in my mentors and Tony Robbins, Andy Elliott, Dean Graciosi, Andy Frisella. I'm so thankful that I've got mentors like that in my life. If you don't have that in your sales career, if you don't have that, you will struggle. The, the person that has a coach makes on average three to four times the amount of money, okay? So I have a group where I have weekly Q&A calls where you can ask me any questions. Also, Andy has a Q&A call coming up in a week. You can ask him questions. This is a ground floor movement of people that we are making excellent at their craft pros, okay? We have a 100 hours of closing, negotiating, persuading, influencing, networking. We got all of that stuff. If you can't do 15 minutes of training a day and show up to two calls a week, it's not for you. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you. Keep grinding. Let's go to the top together. Appreciate you.